Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, teacher. Hello, do you, do you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, do, do you listen to me? Do you listen to me? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes because we need to work with the, you know, with the audios and we need to make sure, you know, that, that we can listen so clear and that's, that's, that's what matters. So welcome to all of you guys and we're about to join here in the class today and also because it's a great time. So how was your day going? ¿Cómo ha estado su día? ¿Cómo ha estado? Cuéntenme. Tell me about that. Hello? Hello? ¿Cómo ha estado la jornada? Cuéntenme por ahí, ¿cómo han estado? ¿Cómo ha estado la jornada? In my case, tired. Very tired. Yeah. Ah, I... Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Yo quisiera, ¿cómo se dice? I would like... I would like. I would like a day. Uh, one hundred hours <laughs> or more. Va vacation. So you need vacation. No vacation. No. But what do you need? Very, very, very busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very busy and more, more things, <laughs> more things. I make more things. Okay, yeah, that that's <laughs> that's important. Yeah, sometimes you know <laughs> what we need is the time. This weekend for me has been very, very big because I'm doing a lot of things. I mean, this this weekend. <laughs> Work, work, and work. Este, esta semana, fin de semana, no sé qué es tener día libre ni horas libres because I've been working so hard oh. on these, those days. And I mean, there are some weeks that are heavier than others because we need to work in some activities. So, um, but for the moment, I feel like, you know, trying to rest in some moments. I, I was in a class and I was like a little sleepy, like, you know, like this, oh my God, I need to sleep. So, but I need to be strong because and I have been working a lot and I just um, been doing different things. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Mr. Mr. Masfariego. Welcome. Welcome on time. Welcome on time. Always, we, we, gotta, we, gotta, we got a good team, right? You're like most of the time on time. Ustedes son como el grupo exclusivo. Siempre están a tiempo. De los alumnos que siempre son los primeros que están ahí en la clase. So, you know, the first. I know that, that sometimes it's like a sacrifice for some of them. Eh, porque algunos vienen eh, de camino, otros vienen conduciendo. I, I just remember eh, que por ahí algunos venían conduciendo. Y yo, what? Conectado y conduciendo. Oh, my God. So that's like, wow, it's, it's a very huge sacrifice. Eh, pero bueno, lo importante es que hacen el esfuerzo. Pues, y, you know, you do the best. Así que, chicos, eso es bueno. Okay, let me see. We have Christian, Ernesto, Brian, eh, Saira. We have Anna Lillian, eh, also Wendy too. So exactly six, six students. So the, the other ones will join. All right, so actually we, we are like uh, a good day. I mean, how's the weather like, guys? How's the weather like? How's the weather like? Repeat, please. Uh, how, how is the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima? Ah, in Santa Ana, a little cold. A little cold, wow. I need, I would like to be yes. in a good um, environment. With, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> Rain? No. <laughs> rain, it, rain. Rain. It's, it's raining, it's raining. A little, a little raining. 
Okay. Yes. Okay, that's cool. I, I live in Ode Santa Ana. It is San... hot. It's the opposite <laughs> side. The opposite. Oh, que bad. <laughs> bad <Yeah>. boy. <laughs> It's, it's okay because you know the weather is sometimes challenging and uh for some <laughs> yeah for, for sona, yeah for example uh, we're talking about like two weeks ago it rained a lot here it rained cats and dogs uh, there this is an idiom este es un idiom american idiom que la gente dice it rains cats and dogs right to say that it rains ah. a lot Raining have... so much. Yeah, cuando se dice cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Eso significa que llueve super fuerte. Yeah, that is wow, incredible. This is what it happened no. here. It's in a Santa Ana, no, no cats and dogs. But yeah. but, but Santa Ana has some a uh, natural. ¿Cómo se dice race? pring pringa? Solo pringo ahora. ¿Cómo dice? Pero es que en, en inglés no sé. Bueno, pringar es la que nosotros usamos aquí. Es como una lluvizna. Lluvizna. ¿Y cómo Ajá, se dice? Es, es como un sneezing, like sneezing. Sneezy. Sneezing. Ah, ok. Teacher, sneezy. Yes. En El Salvador, eh, we say frogs and snakes. Frogs, ah, frogs and snakes. Raining frogs and snakes. Frogs no, cats and, and dogs. Cats and dogs. Fro, eh, frogs. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Frogs and, and, and snakes. Yeah, it could be. Yes, it definitely could be. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Well, we're about to start now, guys, because we actually we are taking advantage of all the time. Thank you to everybody for being here in the class because you know uh, we always have like the chance to practice and to learn, right? And I was I was thinking about that we're about to finish. Ya casi terminamos. Eh, por casualidad, eh, al final, eh, bueno, se los voy a comentar a todos, pero antes. Acuérdense que siempre hacemos, un, hacemos una evaluación de satisfacción, right? Eh, hacemos como un, un tipo de evaluación, satisfaction, pero esa la hacemos al final, ¿verdad? El día viernes la vamos a hacer todos. Si le llega por ahí algún correo donde le dice que va a ser una encuesta de satisfacción, usted se va a acordar y va a decir, ah, el teacher William dijo de que esta no la hiciéramos, sino que la vamos a hacer todos juntos el día viernes para poder darles unas instrucciones de cómo hacerlo. Bueno, ustedes que estuvieron el, el, en el primer módulo se recordarán de que pues algunos la hicieron antes y se cometieron unas equivocaciones y las tuvieron que volver a hacer. Entonces hoy ya tenemos un poquito más de experiencia. Entonces las vamos a hacer eh, todos juntos el día viernes. Así que pues, wow, eh, it's actually incredible. Eh, let's, let's greet a David Orlando que va ahorita con todo ahí, así que no lo distraigan. Eh, serios todos con David porque no voy a hacer ahí Friend, así de repente, así que we're, we're, we're going to ask questions to David Orlando, okay? So, welcome. You know, the, I know that this is a very, very important sacrifice. Es, como le digo, este tipo de cosas son las que me motivan a mí. O sea, vienen del trabajo, vienen cansados y vamos a clases y pues, claro, es algo súper importante, sin duda. Entonces, hacen que, que la clase sea mucho más, right? The best. So, we can do it. We can work hard. And I know that this is the sacrifice. This is the sacrifice. That's what we're doing. Y al final, esto vale mucho más que cualquier cosa. Hay personas que tienen todo fácil en la vida. Different thing is easy. Pero bueno, esto es algo diferente. Because you're working so hard, you got responsibilities. You have some responsibilities. And that's cool, right? Tienen responsabilidades tanto acá en su trabajo, en su familia. Y, well, that's impressive. But we can work on that, right? Okay, so we're going to pass the attendance list, uh, by the way. And I would like to ask you, uh, I would like to ask you about, uh, what well, one second, about the last class, because we were talking about the last class. And before that we, we like ask the attendant list, I would like to ask you and tell me, what did we do in the last class? What did we start it in the last class? Yes. What do you remember? We started. ¿Qué se acuerdan que estudiamos en la última clase? Yes. Uh, we study some 
uh, direct direction for the make a call for a report uh, a problem or or trouble or or an issue okay yes yes like you know yes a formal way of formal expressions to re, uh, to report an issue to report a problem that is actually very common yes it's very very common to work in that okay so let's go and we're going to ask the uh, an attendant list right let's do it Annalina Reyes present teacher okay uh, Brenda Beatriz Calderon present uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present. Uh, David Orlando Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Elia Zael. No. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. He's not yet. No yet. No yet. Uh, Jose Arnaldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Rodrigo Hernández. No yet, Jose Rodrigo. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. No yet. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio, eh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Marisol eh, Betsania Pacheco. Marisol Betsania, no yet. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. No yet. Uh, Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Okay, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. No yet. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Okay, cool. Uh, Saira Marlene Darín. Present. Okay, Wendy Maribel uh, Zabaleta. Present teacher. And Jenny Suleyma Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. Well, let's Good continue. Evening. Hello? Good evening, Rodrigo oh, Hernandez. Rodrigo, eh, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Rodrigo. Perfect. Okay. So I just added into the attendant list, right? Thank you. Thank you for chatting, right? Well, guys, we're going to talk today about an important topic. This is actually a very, um, we're going to have a backup about the last class because we were talking about important things. Eh, Masariego, Mr. Masariego told us about the topic as a kind of reference so about the part 16. And we're gonna give a backup of also some expressions that we use to talk about problems or issues related to uh, different things we have at the job. Eh, vamos a ver, déjeme presentar acá, eh, the present here, the presentation that you currently have is the 16. And look at this, I want it rain, guys. I would like it rains. Me gustaría que, yo, que llueva porque it's like the weather is not so good. It's not so good for me, so that's complicated. No, yeah. no, se va la señal. My goodness, but at least I need that. I would like to have a windy day, a, a windy night, so it refreshes. Okay, so we're gonna talk about make a phone call to report a problem. I mean, we, you were fantastic yesterday. You were fantastic giving some ideas. Uh, do you ever call tech support? Yes, I can do it. Sometimes I, this is part of the protocol that I send an email reporting one of the, the problems with my devices, my laptop doesn't work, the internet doesn't work. I got a problem with the ports, the, the USB ports, the stream is frozen. You know, a lot of problems that you experience. like um, when any, uh, when do you do it? When any device doesn't work, this is the protocol we followed in the company and also got some problems. We practice a conversation. Uh, I like to report a problem using I would like I would like, me gustaría, and we use, I would like to express something that we need to request. Algo que solicitamos, que queremos que pase, right? So that's the point. 
And uh, what is the issue with Robert's computer? That was a problem, right? Uh, well, it doesn't seem to work. And how does he report a problem? He called the tech support. And this tech support said that he was going to solve the problem, etc. Teníamos también algunas expresiones, son expressions que vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, eh, most common problems, common reasons to call tech support and talk to two colleagues and compare your table, tablets, tables in this case. New software. Yeah, when the software is updating. Cuando usted de repente está en lo mejor que va a trabajar en the best y de repente updating, se está actualizando el sistema y usted, oh my God, what happened? That happens to me. Sometimes it happens to me that I'm really motivated y de repente me dice que la computadora se comienza a actualizar y yo, what? I have a class, come on, computer. Y salgo corriendo a traer la otra computadora y se hace un desorden, right? It's not that, but it, it takes you time. Ya me ha pasado a mí, créanme. And that's like sometimes frustrating porque a veces voy con tiempo ya limitado and I have to be there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, no internet access, a virus. Cuando hay virus, por ejemplo, en los archivos. Y de repente usted tenía algo en la USB, and boom, suddenly there's nothing. No hay nada. Y que no hay nada en la USB. It's because there is a virus. You need to look for the antivirus to check and clean the files. Delayed files. Y no les miento. Esto me pasó el día de ayer, ¿saben? I mean, it's not a problem at all. Pero yo tenía un archivo que íbamos a ocupar para esta clase, for this class. It's a secret. It's a secret. Silence, silence. Y de repente había borrado unas cosas, pero, pero no sé qué pasó, pero quizás la borré eh, sin intención. Y de repente yo, what's going on? Do, I, I don't find it. And I look for it in the directory, and I look for it in the files, I didn't find it. Cabal, fui a buscar a donde están en the garbage, donde están los archivos, y ahí estaba. I had to re, resend it back. So that was the problem, deleted files. No la encontraba, pero al final ahí estaba. Así que la recuperé. Paper stack and printer, USB port, out of order, funny noise in the CPU, and frozen the screen. Entonces, ahí estamos. That's what we started. And also, some expressions like, I would like to report a problem. It doesn't seem to work. I would like to report an issue. It makes a strange noise. It makes a funny noise. I have a trouble with my laptop. I have a trouble with my internet. I have, a, I have a trouble with my tablet. I have a trouble with my, my printer. So that is one of the most common problems we can see here. Yes. Yes. Mauricio y Mayra Veraliz acaban de entrar. Oh my God. Eh, Mauricio, Mauricio, who? Rivera. 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 Okay, say present or say teacher, I am here because remember that we passed the, the attendance list. Y los minutos que usted se incorpora tarde, como que, you know, eh, se van tomando también en cuenta. Entonces, eh, vamos con los minutos. And Mayra? I am here, teacher. Who? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Mayra. And, Guillermo and, Garcia. Guillermo Garcia. Okay, Guillermo. Okay, we have three members joining us here, okay? Okay, that's cool. Okay, this is what we do. This is what we do in the class. Esto fue lo que hicimos. In the 16, we're talking about... Okay, you know, tarde, hello? Hello, hello? Oh my God. So maybe the, the, the microphone problem. De repente uno está bien activo y de repente el micrófono. Oh my God. So we have to be alert. Hay que estar alerta ahí. Okay. All right, so that's okay. So we're talking about the conference number 17, how to use would like to. Aquí ya, ya vemos un poquito más a profundidad el would like. Ayer lo vimos así como que, teacher, ¿y este, y este would qué, qué? ¿De dónde apareció, teacher? ¿De dónde es esto? ¿Cómo es? Entonces, eh, hoy lo vamos a ver un poquito más a profundidad, ya como una estructura gramatical. Para empezar, el would es un auxiliar, ¿saben? Es un auxiliar. In English, we use a lot of auxiliars. En inglés usamos auxiliares bastante, ¿saben? En inglés usamos todos los, eh, los modal verbs like may, my, could, have, should, must, would, will, shall. Todos estos son auxiliares, son verbos auxiliares. 
que hacen, que hacen, modifican una oración, le dan un sentido. Entonces, nosotros usamos el would como un auxiliar. En español no usamos nosotros muchos auxiliares, como este estilo no lo usamos. Usamos una palabra para modificar la otra, no. Si yo quiero decir me gustaría, solo digo me y gustaría. Entonces, en cambio en inglés yo digo I would y ocupo el verbo like, que significa gustar. Entonces el would modifica like y lo hace gustaría. Entonces, en español es diferente. Nosotros en inglés ocupa mucho el auxiliar. Pero hoy lo iremos explicando paso a paso. Así que no se me vaya a asustar ahí. Don't, don't scare, don't scare. Ok, how to use would like to. ¿Cómo usar would like to? Y en español es gustaría, me gustaría. Ok. I will be able to report a problem using formal language. I will be able to report a problem using formal language. As I told you, there are some good expressions to report a problem. I'm sorry, uh, tech support. My name is William and I would like to report a problem with my laptop. I tried to turn it on, it doesn't work and I need to start my, my work at about 7 a.m. and I got a problem. So could you help me with that? Entonces nosotros nos dirigimos a la persona que está en tech support de una manera formal, ¿verdad? Adecuada. Buenas tardes, sí, como en español, ¿verdad? Sí, me gustaría reportar un problema en el sistema. Y usted comienza ahí, ¿verdad? De dar una, una descripción. So in English is like uh, that in a formal way. Ok, uh, do you think that this is an interesting topic? ¿Consideran que se ve bastante interesante? ¿Qué dicen? Yes, of course. Acuérdense que... Yes. Yeah, es decir, estas expresiones son muy formales y nos van a servir mucho. Vamos con el primer reto. This is the first challenge. Let's start. Este es el primer reto que tengo para ustedes. El reto de esta noche es el siguiente. What is the most common problem with printers? How often do you use them? Wow, that is a good question. What is the most common problem with printers? Esa es el, la primera pregunta que vamos a socializar en, en esta clase. Ok, so. Ok, think about it. Think about this question. And how often do you use them? How often do you use the printers? How often do you use the printers? Okay, so we're going to have a short time to socialize. Some possible answers given by you guys in the, we're gonna start with this. One moment. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, um, what's the most common problem with printers? That will be uh, part of the topics of this day. Teacher. Yes. The cartucho vacío o sin tinta. Ah, okay. Ya no vamos. Tinta. Yes. Vamos a hacer una listita. Vamos a hacer una listita y ustedes me van a ayudar a hacerlo, okay? So think about the list in English, right? And also, uh, we're going to check this one. Think about it. Think about it. The most common problems with this one. And then we're going to socialize on ideas. Okay, entonces tenemos una que me decía is the lack the lack of ink, eh, the lack of ink, que es como falta de tinta, que ya eh, the cartridges, ¿se acuerdan de la palabra cartuchos? The cartridges, ¿se acuerdan? Que lo vimos en el, en the last, the last part, in the last, in the conversation. Sí, teacher, también podría ser um, driver de configuration. Ok. That could be one, of course. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, a veces pasa que se sobrecalienta por tanto uso. Ok, so, one of, yes, one of the problems is that the printer doesn't work. 
uh, the printer you said one print. Okay, one print. In English, uh, traten de decirlos un poquito en inglés. Um, okay, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Mm, paper and through and in printer. Let's get uh, overheat. Uh, very hot. So the printer gets very hot. What is the other one? What is the other one? Paper stock. Oh, okay, paper stock. Okay, okay, so, okay, paper stock. Paper stock, that's a problem too, yes. Uh, too many paper jam? That's another problem too. Uh, too many paper jams. Uh, sometimes the printer is too slow. Uh, May false the expression. Uh, make false. Mm. The extension. Extension. Ah, okay. 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 All right, that could be one trouble, definitely. To say that in Spanish. Fail to connection. What? Fail to connection or drivers. Uh, problems with the drivers. Okay, the problems with the drivers, that would be another problem, the uh, most common problem in printers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so look at this one, it's a, it's a huge list. También podría ser in this case uh, poor, como like poor quality uh, poor uh, quality in, in printing for quality in printings, uh, but I need to spell In printings, for quality in printings. Que se termina la tinta, como se dice? Lack of, lack of ink. Lack of ink. Lack of ink. Es la primera. Ah, first. la primera. Lack of ink. Yes. Like this, right? So you can see here the problems, the most common problems that people can experience. For example, in printers, it's like like a huge problem. You know, Teacher, yes. In some printers uh, don't have car cartridge. Cartridge. Cartuchos. Yes. Cartridge. But, we but... have a bank printer, and the bank printer is over. Okay, so they need a replacement, okay? Okay, so they need a replacement. Yes. You're... What is it? You need to replace the one printer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be also another problem. Like this one, right? Okay, like this. Okay, the question is, how often do you use them? Every day, twice a day, three times a day, um, all the week. So how often do you use them? 
Okay. Every Me. day. Me every day. Every day. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we are every day. Um, okay, three times. Three times. Uh, so we look at this one. What else, guys? What's the meaning? How often do you use them? Uh, uh -huh. how, how, often, how often is the, the time the time you, you do something or you take something? In this case, it's like el tiempo. ¿Qué a menudo lo usas? ¿Qué a menudo? How often? Uh, the printers. Yeah, that is the question. Esa es la pregunta. So you say twice a day, three times. Okay, guys, give, give me your answer. How often do you use the printers? ¿Qué a menudo la usan? In my case, every day. Every two hours <laughs> or more. <laughs> the, the, the documents, the files, and everything. Because it is not just a printer. Sometimes it's a scanner. So you can scan, you can print, you can photocopy. Uh, so some, sometimes it's multifunctional. So that will be very useful yeah. you know, to have a printer like that. Okay, what else? Uh, give me more ideas about it. Disha. Yes. Teacher, I'm coming. I'm here. your microphone oh, i'm sorry sorry i got a problem with this i'm sorry okay so in we're talking about is, is anybody here in this class that that doesn't doesn't use a printer in their jobs is anybody here that doesn't use a printer in their jobs Every time I need it. Every time I need it. But is anybody in, in I mean, is anybody here in this class that doesn't uh, use a printer in their jobs? Um, I use the printer uh, four, four times a, a day. But you use them. I mean, but you use them four times a day. Yes. Okay. Okay, we go with that, right? So we just uh, actually socialize with this. All right. So, well, this is important. This is important to focus about some stuff here. All right. So we go on uh, to the next exercise after the we, I don't see like practice. We're going to try to work in this part. Three times a day, five times a day. Uh, is anybody that doesn't use the, the printer in their jobs? Hay alguien que no use la, el impresor en su trabajo que diga, teacher, yo en realidad no lo uso. I mean, no lo necesito en, mi, en lo que hago. So I don't use it. Todos, todos lo usan en su trabajo. All of them use it. Okay. Okay, that's what I understood in this case. It's always necessary to use it, the printer. There are some people that they can fix printers. I mean, they I mean doesn't work, and they try to make a troubleshooting, and after that they, they try, they get it. So I got a sister that I mean she can fix the you know this, the, she can fix um this stuff, and also it's incredible. 
I don't know how she does, but I'm, I don't have this, <laughs> this capacity to fix some stuff like that. Okay, let's go to the next part. We're going to have a conversation. Uh, read to your uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with the partner. So Mike and Maria. So this conversation is going to be between Mike and Maria. For this, I want you to focus about this conversation because later you're going to have the opportunity to practice this conversation right here in the class. Let's go. The conversation is between Mike and Maria. Let's start. One, two, and three. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like, to, I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Well, that was interesting. This conversation is about, uh, you know, calling the tech support to check the problem. Escuchémoslo una vez más. Let's try it again. Vayan pensando los roles. Look at the, the role. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report the problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Uchoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. It's not so difficult. It's not so difficult. So I need uh, to check two. I need to select two students to try because I can do it. Uh, let me see. Omar Francisco. Omar Francisco, you will be Mike. And also, uh, let's see. One second. Omar okay. Francisco and Mauricio Garcia. Okay, start, Omar. Mike Hernandez, Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with the with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange no noise. Nos, creo que sí. Noise. Is there noise? Sorry. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Also there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come. I would like you to come soon to check, check it. Teacher, I see Mario. Where's Mike? Mario. Mar Mario. Yeah, I don't know why he says Mario there. Okay, continue. Okay. Yeah, it, okay. it's not relevant. It's not okay. relevant. I see. I uh, be there right away. Yeah, that was right. I mean, that, what is a good observation? What it says Mario right there? I mean, that was like a, a finger mistake. <laughs> okay, but anyway. So I see. I be there right away. I see. I be there right away. So that will be. So it's like, a, um, vamos a, a la parte penúltima donde dice yes. It says, la pronunciación es says, 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 says. Entonces no va a decir says, sino que says. Yes, it says service. Also there is a red light in the error, error 
button, button, error button. Acuérdense que la T es como, mm, como de mountain, de montaña, ¿se acuerdan? Mount, mm, bat, mm. entonces es lo mismo porque la, estas T es como una, un sonido muy suave, es un sonido que no tiene una fuerza. Button, error button, I, will, I would like you to come soon to check it. Okay, or well, let me see. I need two other guys. I will choose, in this case, Mayra Belaliz. Uh, Mayra Belaliz. And also, um, let me see what else I got here. Uh, Rodrigo Hernandez. Okay, so Mayra, you start, and then Rodrigo, you continue. Um, okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Mario Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? I don't seem to be working and it making a sound nice. Nice. Is there a main in the control panel? Yes, it's self service. Also, there is a red light and the arrow button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right right away. Thank you so much. That was very great. That was that was a great great part in this in this conversation. Okay, uh, I will need two volunteers. Uh, two other volunteers. Who wants to help me? Uh, two other volunteers. Me, me. Karen. Karen and Wendy, Who's creo. And when. Wendy, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Karen, you start, and then Wendy, okay, Karen, you can start. Okay. okay. Mike, Hernar Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. O Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. 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 Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Also, there is a red light on, on the error room. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Thank you. Thank you. All right, two volunteers who's, who are next? Who are next? Me. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. And Christian, somebody else join Christian. Uh, chicos, recuerden también que tienen que tener las cámaras activadas. You know, this is the general rule, así que no se les olviden las cámaras. Ok, uh, ¿quién más va a acompañar a Christian? Who else uh, practice with Christian, the conversation? Me, teacher, Jenny. Jenny, ok, so Christian will be Mike and Maria will be Jenny. Ok, you can start. Thank you. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the other button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you so much. The last one. Okay, the last, the next, next volunteers. The next volunteers. We have some guys that haven't listened to them. Okay, ¿quiénes son los siguientes? Zaira. Okay, Zaira. Uh, Zaira will be Mike. 
Uh, okay, Sara, you will be Mike. Who's next? Me, Mauricio Rivera. Okay, Mr. Rivera, you will be Maria, okay? So you can start now, uh, Saida. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Account Town. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem uh, to be working, and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. I said service. Also, there is a red line on the arrow button. I uh, would like to, to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Finished. It's really cool, yeah, yeah, this is great. I mean, it's almost natural, you know, it's almost like, you know, get it like, uh, a natural way to have a conversation that was good. And this is like to, to be natural, to communicate, to sounds like you're in a real conversation. That's, that's something that you are like, uh, you're being a little fine, the, one of the finest ways. Me gusta bastante porque veo que ya muchos están ya, ya lo leen ya más fino, right? ¿Se acuerdan al principio del módulo? Me acuerdo que teacher, este, y aquí como que robot, ¿verdad? Pero ya... Ya se escucha una naturalidad al momento de hablarlo y eso es muy bueno, right? The practice make a difference. So, and that can help you to be fluent in the process. So, hay gente que dice, mira, ¿y cómo haces? ¿Y cómo hago también para ser fluido? Para hacer, se escuchar tan natural como que es la práctica. Este tipo de conversations is like that. Entonces, eh, a medida que usted lee, por eso es que es importante la lectura. A medida que usted lee, va conociendo palabras nuevas, va adoptando esas palabras, va aumentando su vocabulario. Y al mismo tiempo le, le iba sonando natural. And this is like, you know, so uh, this, is Mar this is Maria Ochoa from the accounting department. I would like to report a problem with my painter. There's a problem, Mr. Ochoa. Entonces, va todo like natural way. So that's the point. Eh, me ha gustado mucho la, la forma de la participación. This is like uh, something that we, we would like to reach. Algo que nos gustaría alcanzar es eso. Right, the practice. So we got the, the capacity to practice and speak English in a natural way. Así que vamos bien, los felicito. Me ha gustado cómo lo están practicando. Ok, we go with the next activity. Figure it out. Complete the sentences below and use the conversation to help yourself. I'd like to report this issue and I would fix this. And the word is would. Would. So you can pronounce the word would. So that's the pronunciation. I would. Would. So practice. Practice the word. Would. would. I would. And you know that. Okay. Read the conversation and complete it. Uh, read the conversation and complete it. Lea la conversación y completela.
Okay. Um, you let me know when you have the answers. You let me know when you have the answers, guys. It, it is pronounced issue. Issue. Yes. Issue. Y significa? Problem. Problema. That's problem. Issue. Yes. It's related to our problem. What's your problem? What's your real problem? So you talk about the problems or actually the situations of, or we're talking about problems. Okay, well, let's see, because I, I, I think that you got the answers. I like to report this issue. So what do you think will be the answer? What? I would like. I would like to report. I would like to report this issue. I would like. I would like. Okay, practice the word. I would like. So it's like national. In the like. second. Yes. In the second one. Like. Yes. Also with light blue too. We got it here. So I like to. I would like to, and we're going to add two. I would like to fix. Because that's the problem, you know. I would like to fix it, to fix this. So we got it here. So those important statements. Okay, look at this. What's the meaning? Good, like, say, say. What's the meaning about would like? So look at this. Uh, look at this. I would like in Spanish is me gustaría. Oh. That is the meaning in Spanish about would like. I would like. I would like to do this. Look at this. Uh, make it smaller. You know, I would like to report this issue. I would like me gustaría. It's that's why this is a very formal expression to say that we are like. Um, you know, a little serious uh, that, that we need help in a good way. Entonces, es importante que nosotros podamos tomar en cuenta eh, esa estructura. And also, we work at this. Well, somebody has chat that has some problems with the internet connection. Bueno, a veces hay retos con los problemas de internet, pero bueno, we need to try the best, po the possible way. So we go with this. All right, so let's continue. I would like to report this issue. By the way, uh, did you have any question or doubt about the vocabulary that you saw here in the conversation? La palabra right away que se encuentra al final de la conversación. Vámonos hasta el final. I see, I be there right away. Esta palabra right away es un, es un verbo que se llama phrasal verb. En este caso, bueno, pero en este caso es como una frase, una expresión, right away. Es como decir inmediatamente. La palabra right away significa inmediatamente. Para que lo tomen en cuenta. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice esto? Or immediately or right away. And that is actually the word. Entonces podríamos decir que en inglés uh, right away es como una inter interjection. Interjección se llama. Intersección. Intersección se llama en la gramática española. Y en inglés igual se dice interjection. Para decir inmediatamente, en marcha. Entonces, es una interjection, I'm sorry. Ese era el significado de right away. Or immediately. So that's the meaning. Interjection. Ok, any Yo, other? Hola. Y si quisiera decir en el caso tan rápido como pueda. As fast as. ¿Se acuerdan que el as as? As fast as. Tan rápido como. As fast, fast as. As, as fast as. as. Bueno, eh, en los comparativos ustedes verán esta palabra as y van a ver esta otra palabra as as. Cuando las dos están unidas es tan como, entonces as fast as, as crazy as, tan loco como, entonces tan como, so that will be as as. Es, es un comparativo. Okay, um, questions. 
about vocabulary? En la penúltima, María. No, 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 no. En la última sería, I see all be, all be. Es, ¿qué, ¿Qué significa esto? Estaré, I be. I be. Es el famoso I be. Significa estaré. I be. Ajá. Es una expresión, el futuro es un futuro. Es un futuro simple, entonces eh, por eso están las dos L's, porque es una forma de contracción. Cuando usamos I will, I be there. Eh, cuando hago will en contracción, se convierte en dos L's. Entonces es como que estaré ahí inmediatamente. Teacher, yes, eh, yes it said, dijo que se pronunciaba dice Yet, yes it says it says 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 yes All it right. says thanks alright entonces es como decir sí esto dice service o sea está refiriéndose a lo que a la indicación que aparece en la máquina yes it says service entonces ese es el mensaje que le da verdad eh, it says service Okay, let's go with the next part. No more equations with this. Figure it out and well, look at this. Vamos a un, a un listening part. So I need, if you have the, well, I, I need to send you this one before. Just, just one moment. One moment here, please. We're gonna go back. Well, there are actually there are some expressions that we use in a real context. Hay algunas expresiones que utilizamos cuando decimos que algo no funciona. It doesn't seem to be working. Eh, ayer veíamos una que decía, it doesn't work. ¿Se acuerdan? It doesn't seem to work. Ahora usted puede decir, it doesn't seem to be working. Parece, eh, parece que no está trabajando. Be working. It doesn't seem to be working as it's making a strange noise. Entonces, son algunas de las expresiones eh, bastante comunes para referirnos a que algo no funciona. O también usted puede decir en inglés, teacher, it doesn't work. No funciona, it doesn't work. Uh, accounting. Uh, a ver, preguntarles, ¿de qué, ¿en qué departamento se encuentra eh, María? Accounting. Accounting. Accounting department. Accounting department. So I would like. To, I, I would like to. I would like to ask you. Uh, we're gonna make an section here. Uh, I would like to ask you what kind of uh, tools, what kind of electronic devices, uh, accountants need. ¿Qué clase de aparatos o qué se ocupa bastante con los con los accountants? A printer. A printer, computer. a computer. Do they need a calculator? Mm, okay. Calculator. Contometro, teacher. No What? sé cómo se dice. Contometer. Contometer. ¿Y eso para qué es? Explíquen. <laughs> What is that? Ah, usted suma ahí y le sale en una cinta. Lo que usted va sumando, bueno, lo puede imprimir y entonces le va saliendo ahí. El que tiran en el estadio, el papel con tómetro se pone ahí. Ah, vaya que me lo explico así el estadio, ya lo entendí mejor. Mi... Okay. ok, ahí sí. All right, that's cool, actually good, right? So that's very interesting because, I mean, the, the accountant... in the supermarket. Oh, in the tickets, yeah, the tickets. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, that's amazing. Ok, that's cool, that's cool. We got the tech support. All right, so we go with the next one. I need to share right now a link. Les voy a compartir un link en este momento. I need to share a link. And I need to, uh, to pay to copy. I need to copy. And I will send it to you. In, what, in WhatsApp group? Yes, I will. Oh, okay. Let me see, because I'm, I'm about to... I'm about to send it right now. Okay, so just one moment. Okay, look at this. Uh, let me see if you can see the link. Teacher. Yes? Teacher. 
mí, tengo problemas de conexión, estoy intentando, pero a cada momento me saca, no sé qué pasa. Yeah, maybe the internet. Okay, try. Yeah, so try to stay. Eh, hágase la difícil con el internet, oye. Inténtelo ahí, así que puede ser que a veces falle el internet. No, a veces, estoy, sino... internet acá y vuelvo a entrar y así, pero no he entendido nada de lo que dijo porque está hablando y me saca. Y en lo que estoy entrando y saliendo no comprendí nada. Sí, es más que todos estamos hablando acerca de, de los ejercicios de, de la conversación. Nos hemos enfocado un poquito en la conversation, en algunas frases, o en some phrases in the conversation. Ok, uh, I'm about to send you guys a link. Sí. Hola. Es, es correcto en el ejercicio donde está la pregunta que había de, que completar eh, con lo de la conversación. Eh, yo lo hice, pero en, en la primera le puse would. Sería uh -huh. I would like to report. Uh -huh. y, y en la segunda le puse like to. ¿Es correcto? Eh, yes. Yes, uh, look at the look at the chat, for example. No sé si puede ver el chat. Eh, creo que ah, bueno ahí se puso la, la respuesta. So no sé si lo puede visualizar. No. Oh. Pero sí veo la pantalla ahorita. Ya veo está. la I, pantalla. Exactly. So it's right there. Sí. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Eh, les okay. voy a mandar también otro. Bien. Vamos a vamos a trabajar en el siguiente ejercicio. Les acabo de mandar un link. It says, listen to a man talk about common printing problems. Discuss what they were talking in the conversation. Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que escuchen esta información que les acabo de compartir y luego vamos a escuchar la siguiente. Así que para mientras ya la voy a poner. Así que everybody, we're going to have a short time to read this information about the printer. ¿Y dónde lo compartió, teacher? No está, teacher. No está. No está. ¿En el chat? ¿En el chat? No está. Ni en el chat, ni en WhatsApp. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I was like, you know, I got a problem with the Wi-Fi. Okay. El, pro... <laughs> el problema que habíamos visto. <laughs> try now. Try now. Try now. <laughs> try now. Inténtelo ahora. ¿Está? Okay, cool, right? So you see it there. All right. Already. Ok, cool. So try and listen yes. the first one. Vamos a escuchar las dos. Vamos a escuchar las dos because there are two. We're going to listen the first one and we're going to focus and we're going to listen the second one and to see what is there. Así que escuchemos las dos eh, para, para ver de, no, de qué se trata, what it is about. Try, try get the practice. Try get the practice. Okay, I'm working with this. I'm actually listening. Así que escuchemos the conversations in, the, in this part. Hello, teacher.
teacher. <coughs> yes. Una pregunta, ¿verdad? Que ha enviado un link acerca, bueno, un link de YouTube, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, fíjese que no lo abre, le voy a mandar una captura de pantalla. Bueno, en mi caso, ¿verdad? Porque no logro abrirlo. Mm. Yes. Ha enviado dos direcciones, un link, ¿verdad? Yes, two links. Yes, so, ten, bueno, no sé, ya había visto videos de estos antes. Porque es sí, raro que no se lo pueda okay, habilitar. Ok, I try again. Yeah, please, try, because, yeah, that's way.
Okay, uh, we're going to make a post about the video because, well, it's giving an incredible instructions about how to use a, a printer when it's actually getting a troll. There are some troubleshootings techniques that can be useful, especially when you are trying to print and use shows like a problem. So, but I want you to talk a little bit about what information you got from this. Maybe, uh, well, you can check those videos uh, further and in order to practice expressions because those videos like take too much time. Eh, tienen, llevan mucho tiempo. Eh, por ejemplo, este video pues, tiene bastante tiempo, so we can like maximize the activities in the class. So, but at least I would like you to help me to share what do you understand about the first video? What do you understand? What information was given? ¿Qué información fue dada en este, en el, en el video que usted vio? In YouTube. A video on YouTube. What information? How fix? How fix a printer? Ah, okay. How to fix the printer? Okay, that was one. Yeah, how to fix the printer? What else? What else do you remember? Connection electric. Electric connections. Okay, to monitor the electric connection in the device. Okay, that was cool. What else? What else do you remember? What other information could you hear? in the printer. Uh, fix try printing a page directly from the printer's control fix panel to see if the issue or, is resolved. For the printer's control panel to press the start. Uh, objects in, in the printer. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's great. And there are some other instructions, perhaps. I mean, can be very useful. You can check it and that can help you to be a you know a technician, right? Ya si usted ve algunas ideas que le pueden servir en su trabajo, pues you can do it in English, right? Okay, so we're going to pass the attendance list uh, right now. So just listen to your name and you say present. And I would like you to help me with this. So one second. Hey, Brian, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, Annalina Reyes. Annalina Reyes. Present. Present, okay. teacher. Thank you. Brenda. Brenda Present. Beatriz. Okay, Brian Javier. Present. Christian Ernesto. Present. David Orlando. Present. Ali. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Present. Uh, Jose Arnoldo. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Uh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Karen. She's not. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. Hello? Present teacher. Present okay, teacher. Okay, 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 don't worry, Mauricio. Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Beraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco. Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Zaira eh, Marleni. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present. Okay. Wendy, mm -hmm. Mari Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleyma Santos. Present. Hmm? Okay, that's okay. Sí. Check the microphone, Mauricio Enrique. Okay, much better, much better. All right, sometimes happens. Sucede, chico. Ya me ha pasado mí. Okay, let's go. Miren, ya llevamos una hora pasadas. ¿Han sentido ustedes la hora? No, oh, o sea, no sé. Increíble, el tiempo se va volando. Increíble, right? The time's actually going fast. Okay, let's go. Short time. 
short time. Yeah, short time. As you know, when we're busy, the, the time is short, short. Cuando, cuando estamos bien ocupados, el tiempo se va volando. Cuando va lento, es como que, oh my God, nunca va a terminar. Pero no, we are ready for this, right? Okay. Este es el momento indicado. This is the expected moment, right? El uso de would like to. Would. Would. I'd. I'd. Vamos a ver, esa es la pronunciación. Vamos a trabajar con las pronunciaciones. Para esto, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. We're going to do something right now. Let's go, let's go. Would, how to use would like to? Used would like to say what you want, especially when making offer or request. Vamos a hacer más grande para que se vea así bien elegante, miren. Use would like to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. Entonces, este es cuando usamos el would to. Would like to. Lo usamos para cuando queremos algo. Yo quiero algo. A ver, ¿qué quisieran ustedes en este momento? What would you like? ¿Qué quisieran? Algo que se le viene a la mente. Something that comes into your mind. I would Hello. like to sleep. I would like, I would like to eat pizza. <laughs> I would like to eat pizza. Okay. I would like to I sleep. Would like, I would like to learn to speak very well. Okay, English. Mauricio would like to, to speak English perfectly. Okay, Mauricio would like to speak English perfectly. Okay, what else would you like? Would you like pizza, speak English perfectly, to sleep, or eat hibernate? Hibernate, right? What else? What else would you like? I would like, like vacation, teacher. I would, so do I. Yo también. <laughs> I would like vacations. Yeah, good idea. Estamos algo lejito de nuestras vacaciones. Three person. Okay. What, <laughs> okay, what else would you like, guys? Para los que no han hablado por ahí, what would you like? I would like ice cream. I would like an ice cream. Yeah, I would like an ice cream too because it's very hot. Yeah, it's a bad weather. What would you like? I would like to be millionaire. I would like to be a millionaire. I would like to be... Uh, a one million dollars. I would like I would like to have one million dollars. Okay, excellent. Yes. That, is, that is a good 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 amount. I would like to. <laughs> what else? What else would you like? Gasteselo, pues sí, si se gastelo, bueno. What else? Okay, what else would you like? Being creative and think about it. Ok, let's do it. And como este would like es enfocado al trabajo, pero démosle un, un entorno diferente. Let's imagine that I am the person in the in, in a restaurant. I'm like the uh, kind of the waiter, the waiter. Soy como el waiter, el mesero, la persona que está encargado, you know, and I would like to say, ok, welcome to the restaurant. What would you like to eat? What would you like Hola. to eat? What would you like to eat? Eh, ¿Qué le gustaría English. pedir? What would you like to eat? ¿Qué le gustaría English. pedir? Ah, inglés. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué le gustaría en este momento si estuviera en un restaurante? What would you like to eat? Hello. Cheesecake. Ah, pero no, pero tiene que decirlo así bien formal, como, como está el ejemplo. Uh, I would like to cheesecake. I would like a cheesecake. O I would like to eat. O I would like eat. to eat a cheesecake. cheesecake. Okay. okay, that's, that's good. good. It's a good dessert. Okay, what else? What, what would you like? like to to Two? Yes, what would you like? I ah, sorry. Like I would to like to go to sleep. Uh, in a restaurant. What are talking about? Yes. I would like to drink coffee. I would like to drink coffee. Okay, that's a drink coffee. Good, good. What else would you like? Or beer. Or what? A, a beer? Yes. Oh my God. Bueno, I might, bueno it's okay. Uh, I would like to have a beer. Okay, a beer. Okay, that's okay. Ahí para refrescar el ambiente, dice. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, what else? What else would you like? I would like it hamburger. 
I would like to eat a hamburger. I would like to eat a hamburger. Okay, that's cool. Hamburger. Okay, hamburger. yes, okay. Ya en la parte laboral, ya vamos enfocados a lo que hacemos en nuestro trabajo. Cuando nos gustaría algo que hay que mejorar. When something needs to improve or something needs to be repaired. Or we have a problem, we have an issue with one of the devices in the company. So we are requesting in this way. En singular, usted siempre va a ocupar siempre el will I to. Los dos, tanto singular como plural, se es, escriben igual. Entonces no hay, no hay mucha distinción, la verdad. She would like to send a report today. She would like to send a report today. A ella le gustaría enviar el reporte hoy. Es singular, right? Pero si ustedes se fijan abajo, ya no está would like, sino que está un apóstrofe, que es la comita que está arriba. Y está la D. Y ahí, teacher, ¿qué pasó? En este caso, a esta parte se le llama contraction. Significa que la palabra would se puede, se puede contractar y se convierte en contraction, so can be contracted. Entonces podemos hacer las palabras contracted, podemos contractarlas. Only say the last word. Ok, ajá. Eh, so entonces, say, only say the last word. D. Eh, I, he'll, he'll like. He'll, he'll, he'll like. Entonces, ese will es como que he'll, he'll like, he'll like, will like. Entonces, esa D, esa D suena bien suave, la verdad. Will like, will like. Decimos, we like, will like to ship this container. Entonces, la pronunciación de la D es bien suave, la verdad. He'll like to meet the new employees tonight. Teacher. Eh, eh, yes. One question. Este... To, el que va, they will like to, ese siempre debe ir. Always, always has to go. Siempre tiene okay. que ir. Thanks. Eh, en este caso, si el que le sigue es un verbo. Si le sigue un verbo, por ley tiene que ir, eh, tiene que ir esa estructura. Pero si yo digo, por ejemplo, I would... I would like a candy. Aquí, en este caso, no se ocupa el to, porque como no es un verbo, sino que es un sustantivo el que sigue, entonces no necesito agregarle nada. Solo I would like, yo quisiera un dulce. Entonces, ok, entonces acá pues no es necesario que le agreguemos el to. Es como decir, I would like. I would like some pizzas. Me gustaría yeah, algunas pizzas. Ajá, I would like some pizzas. Me gustaría algunas pizzas. Ok, en este caso, pero como el que en los ejemplos va un verbo, el que sigue un verbo, entonces no pueden ir dos verbos a la par juntos. Entonces se le agrega el to. She would like to send. Ella le gustaría enviar los reportes. He like to meet. Eh, a él le gustaría reunirse. Entonces el to no tiene ningún significado, sino que simplemente sirve como un auxiliar. Vamos con la parte del plural, plural. They would like to speak to a supervisor. A ellos les gustaría hablar con un supervisor. Entonces, they would like to speak. Entonces, el speak es un verbo. Entonces, por eso tiene que ir el to. We'll like to ship this container tomorrow. Nos gustaría enviar este contenedor mañana. Entonces, usamos el to porque este ship es un verbo. Speak es un verbo, send es un verbo, meet es un verbo. Entonces, eh, lo usamos de esta manera. This, this is like the, the common examples. Ok. Are we okay at the moment? ¿Estamos bien por el momento? Sí. Sí, es que fíjese que este me llama mucho la atención porque también lo he visto en otras oraciones. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, como es un verbo, dicen, este, sí tiene que ir, siempre es el tú. Ajá, Pero luego exacto. está, en esta parte, en el plural, dice, they would like to speak, y vuelve a decir, to a supervisor. Pero ahí no hay un verbo. O sea, en ese caso, hay alguna, alguna otra, no sé, dramática o algo para eso. 
que ah, siempre sí. lo veo, en, en muchas ocasiones lo veo y me confunde un poco. Si usted lo traduce, they would like to speak to, a ellos, a ellos les gustaría hablar con, en este caso ese con se convierte como en un to, to a supervisor, por eso entonces, eh, they would like to speak to a supervisor, a ellos les gustaría hablar con un supervisor, entonces ese to hace como esa función. Es, por ejemplo, yo digo, I would like to travel to Mexico. I would like to travel to Mexico. Entonces, ese tú es como un pequeño auxiliar para decir a México. Entonces, eh, por eso ocupamos ese tú. To a supervisor, to a doctor, to a dentist, to a, to a Brasil, to, Brazil, to Japan. Entonces, ese tú es un auxiliar también que se ocupa muchísimo. Thanks. Es un, es, un, es un artículo, es un artículo. Ok, veamos I otro ejemplo. Ticket, travel ticket teacher. El, from Mexico. Ah, from travel Mexico. from Mexico. Ok. I would okay. okay. like travel ticket. You. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. All right. Ok, so, ooh, would you like to, would you like? Esta es una pregunta. Esto es como que un poquito más un poquito más salido de, de, del contexto anterior, más que todo el anterior era como más relacionado a la empresa, right? I would like to report a problem, I would like to check this device, I would like to fix this problem, pero aquí vamos como el good es un poquito más general, para cosas ya generales, vacaciones, actividades en general. Would you like? Para hacer preguntas en inglés, eh, ocupamos el would you like, lo hacemos como al revés, would you like to drink coffee? ¿Te gustaría beber café? Would you like to drink coffee? Would you like to be in the English class? ¿Te gustaría estar en la clase de inglés? Would you like to report the problem? ¿Te gustaría reportar el problema? Would you like to speak with the supervisor? ¿Te gustaría hablar con el supervisor? Y entonces, hacemos preguntas de esta manera. Primero el would, luego va el sujeto que es you, luego va like y el complemento. Y vemos acá en la siguiente donde dice I would like, me gustaría, y en paréntesis I'd like, que es prácticamente lo mismo. Entonces, cuando usted vea la D, usted va a decir, ah, ya, yeah, estamos usando el would, pero en forma contractada. Veamos algunos, algunos, eh, son examples. Vamos a usar mi lapicero mágico. Aquí está, miren, the positive, positive subject plus would, like, plus to, plus verb, base form. I like a slice of cake, please. I like a slice of cake, please. Me gustaría eh, como una rebanada de pastel, por favor. Entonces, aquí ya vemos una formalidad en esto. Vamos con la siguiente. Vemos, por ejemplo, acá, I would like, me gustaría, o I like to go on vacations. Entonces, vamos usando el I would like, que es me gustaría. Ok, so we can see here the base form. Prácticamente la misma estructura, I would like, o I would like to go on vacations. Entonces, aquí vemos que está el verbo go, entonces por eso ocupamos el to. I like to go on vacations. Lo que creo que decía Jenny, si no me equivoco, that she would like to go on vacations. On a vacation, she would like to go on a vacation. And uh, look at this. How to form sentences we would like. Vemos acá que aquí hay para la forma negativa. Esto es también como parte de la cultura en general. Para hacerlo negativo decimos wouldn't. Repita conmigo la palabra wouldn't. Wouldn't. Y que suene la t, t, wouldn't. I wouldn't like an expensive bag. Entonces, eh, decimos en forma negativa, lo escribo aquí en el chat, usamos eh, would not, would not or wouldn't. Vamos a ver, vamos a decir wouldn't, would not or wouldn't. That's the rule. Entonces decimos would not or wouldn't. Esta es para la forma negativa. Es the negative statement form. So we work in this. Entonces más que todo, esta es parte de la estructura. Would you like an apple? Y para pregunta, pues que sabemos que el would va al inicio. 
luego va el verbo tú, el verbo, perdón, el sujeto, would you, luego va el verbo like y el complemento, the complement. Would you like to go swimming next week? Would you like to go swimming? Entonces vamos viendo eh, la estructura. Bien interesante, súper sencilla. Y vamos viendo cómo el verbo funciona en esta estructura. Yes? It's okay? Yes, yes. Vamos bien. Claro, como los chata. Ok. Pero de la buena. <ríe> All right. A piece of cake. A piece of cake. Yeah, it's actually very simple. With, yeah. with milk. Yeah. Oh, wow. Delicious. I love it. I love it. This um, amazing combination. Ok. So, we're going to check right now this um, example here. Vamos a ver el ejemplo que tenemos acá. Eh, y vamos a trabajar en la siguiente activity. We're going to work in the next activity. Vamos a hacer algunas statements. Quiero ver. I need to make a double. Un momentito. Um, like this. Imaginemos que estamos en empresa. Let's imagine that you're in the company and you need to, to check something. ¿Ustedes le gustaría reportar algo? ¿Cómo lo podrían hacer? Denme algunas ideas. Imagínense que algo se les arruinó en este caso en la oficina y quisieran reportarlo. ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo dirían? I would like to report the, the print error. The printer shows error. Ok, uh, I would like to report that the printer shows error. Uh, me gustaría reportar que la impresora muestra un error, ok. So, ok. A any other example that you can write? Otro ejemplo. I would like to report that I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't listen in my calls. I would like to report uh, that... Uh, I don't listen. I don't listen in my phone. The call in my phone. I don't listen. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. What else? I li I like to report the finger that don't work. I would like to report that. What? The finger check don't work. The, the finger? Finger check. The finger tech. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a uh, lector de huella. It's like this. Don't work. I would like, I will, I will, I will like to report the monitor is off. Okay, ah, okay, that's okay, doesn't. Okay, uh, I would like to report, I would like, I would like to report, I would like to report that the monitor, the, what happened with the monitor? Uh, doesn't, no enciende. Yeah, okay. so, so no, this off. So ok, um, entonces le vamos a poner doesn't turn on. Doesn't turn on. Y doesn't turn on. Es decir, me gustaría reportar que el monitor no enciende. Es decir, que si se apagó y lo volvió a encender y didn't work, it's like it, it powered off. So it doesn't turn on. So that, that's the problem. That is a situation, that is a situation that happens, right? It doesn't work properly. So that's a little complicated. Okay, vamos con la, eh, otro ejemplo. ¿Qué más ejemplos me podrían dar?
do I would like to report a trouble with a scanner. I would like to report a trouble with the scanner. Okay, what what is the problem with the scanner? What what what's the problem? <laughs> they have a, a strange a stranger noise. Excellent. Good, good. Stranger so he, he, he could answer. He could answer that. That's the way in the natural world. So there is a noise. What kind of noise is that? It's like a funny noise or something like that. Muy bien, muy bien. Me gustó esa, esa respuesta. Estuvo muy buena. Vamos a ver. Alguien más. Alguien más eh, que nos comparta un problema que podría tener. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Yeah. I would like to report that my computer has a frozen screen. That would be another trouble too. And that would be another problem. So it's actually related to this. Um, the, the, the computer is frozen it's, it's, or the screen is frozen too. That's another problem. Okay, very good, because you actually, you got an idea of how it is. Muy bien, vamos con la siguiente parte. Vamos con la next part. And we have an activity. Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Write from four to five requests about it. En este caso, vamos a hacer esta actividad. Eh, va a imaginar que una pieza, you know, a piece of equipment at your workplace, que a cualquiera de los aparatos de los que usted tiene, de repente eh, no funcionan. Y entonces a usted le toca escribir, usted va a escribir cuatro a cinco requests about it. Es decir, cinco formas eh, de cómo solicitar este, este, que le arreglen tal aparato. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, you know, I'm sorry and I would like to, um, to report that my... Y va a mencionar un artículo que sea relacionado a lo que usted tiene en oficina. Por ahí eh, vamos a poner el ejemplo que... One second. One moment. El ejemplo que decía... Let me see here. Mayra, Mayra. Eh, ¿Cómo se llamaba el, el termo... ¿Termo what? What's the name? ¿Cómo se llamaba? Termo. El contómetro. Oh my God, contómetro. Yeah, <laughs> imagínese. A mí hábleme de calculadoras, pero, pero sí, you know how it is, right? Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's also, that's excellent for this information, right? Entonces quiero que escriba estas eh, cuatro a cinco solicitudes. Y mencione el nombre de ese artículo al que usted quiere que le revisen, right? Eso vamos a hacer en este momento. Así que yo les voy a dar unos minutitos. I will give you some minutes to work in this. Y luego de este esto, vamos a hacer la siguiente. Share the ideas you have in small groups or with the whole class. Entonces, cuando usted ya las tenga, las va a compartir estas preguntas con sus compañeros y van a ayudarse cómo podríamos contestar eso. Ok. I will help you with this. Thank you. Entonces, comenzamos a trabajar en esta actividad en este momento. Okay, so if you have any question, please let me know. Eh, si alguien pues tiene alguna duda, me dice, teacher, yo no entendí, o más o menos, o sea, dígame, sin miedo, and I will be helping you. Mauricio, creo que se escucha como una interferencia en, creo que es el micrófono. Thank you.
How do you say revisar? Check. Check. Thank you. All right. All right. Nice, super, Mister, super, very fast. Okay. Okay, somebody else um, has finished. Teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, in my school, uses the radio. ¿Cómo puedo decir? Radio. 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 Aha, uh -huh. I would like to report a problem with my radio. Let's see. Yes. But what kind of radio? Uh... Es como una radio, una radio comunicador. A, like a radio communicator. Uh, es como así. Look at the chat. Uh, look at this. Look at this. So that would be like that. So it's like kind of radio communicator. So you can use it. You know, I, I need how to report. I would like to report that my, my radio communicator doesn't work. Okay, that will be one of the devices. Doesn't work. Teacher, uh, how do you wait, how do you say? Um, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Look at this one. Air conditioning. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Thank you. 
teacher. Yep. En el caso del radio comunicador, también podría ser walkie-talkie. Ah, walkie-talkie. Así la llaman popularmente, ¿verdad? Es correcto. Walkie-talkie. Eh... Yeah, people call it radio that. Radio Ajá. Creo que es ajá, talkie, walkie-talkie. Así le llaman, pero no, no sé si ese será como un nombre oficial, la verdad. Walkie Talkie. Radio Comunicom. Uh -huh. como, como lo que ocupan para comunicarse entre Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Sí, es un, un radio como los que usan los vigilantes, algo así. Pero para no, para no andar buscando al director o a la demás gente, es más fácil así. Ok. Ah, ok. Como los que se comunican los taxistas, por decirle, o, o los soldados, algo así, lo hacían. Sí, <risa> sí, es que el nombre que Militar. le dan, el nombre que le dan es este. Eh, creo que se, se escribe eh, así. Waki and also Walki. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, aquí se los voy a escribir para que. Walki. Eh. No quiero ver. Ese es el nombre que tiene oficialmente es, las, so, es el, el nombre del artículo Walkie Talkie Like this, right? Look at this Teacher Hello, Omi Teacher I'm listening uh, Yes, I would like I would like to make a backup for my files or I would like to backup my files. Uh, I would like to both can be can be used both. I would like to backup my files. Yes. Okay, so okay. It can be both, but I like the second one. It's more direct. Yeah, so that would be like a more direct straight statement here. Okay, so we Okay, are we ready? Estamos ya listos? Are we ready? Okay, vamos a formar unos pequeños grupos y usted va a compartir las statements, las cómo usted eh, reportaría estos devices. Hello? Okay. No sé qué pasó ahí. What happened? Okay, vamos a formar los breakout rooms. Y usted va a compartir eh, las oraciones, esas, esas, cómo hacer ese reporte. Así que vamos a formar pequeños grupos y tenemos five minutes to work in this. Six minutes to work in this. Usted viene y le comparte a sus compañeros cómo haría esa pregunta. Así que vamos a hacer los breaker rounds. Mm. Ok, that will exactly five groups. We're going to make five groups. Ok, así que aceptan la invitación y comparten eh, estos reportes. Let's go. Six minutes. Teacher, fíjese que me salía la opción para unirme al grupo y ahora ya no me sale. Entonces eh, no sé. Vaya, eh, ya vamos a ver, permítanme. Quiero ver. Uh... Teacher, envíeme de nuevo. Ah, sí. Vaya, pero la, la voy a mover, eh, Mayra, a donde estaba. Oye. Lili, soy también. Ok, one second. Yes. 
eh, ya no le aparece la opción. Hola, no, hola. Cuando... Ah, es, va, no, la... cuando entré. Oh, es que okay. tengo problemas con el internet, creo que. Entonces la voy a mandar al grupo 2. Ok, group number 2. Ok, accept the invitation, please. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay, she's going to accept this. Yeah, Omar Francisco. Conditional. Three. I, knew, I need to get in the air conditional. Or can you say some to fix air conditioner only? Teacher, is correct. I'm sorry, I didn't listen. What, what was the word? Uh, one, I would like to re report a problem in the air conditioner. Uh-huh. Air conditioning. Uh -huh. Yes. Hello, Balmore. This is Omar, accounting. A problem in the air conditioner. Three, I need to get in the air conditioner. Four, can you sell some to fix air conditioner? It's okay. Correct. Yeah, so that's okay because you, you created like a conversation. Okay. That's valid. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Next. Um. Okay. I would like to report a problem with my test. I would like to report a problem with XX internet. Internet. I would like to report a problem with the phone. And I would I would like to report a problem with my radio communicator. Finish. Yes. Um teacher. Lo otro que teníamos que hacer era como podemos resolverlo, dijo. Ajá, que exacto. Trataremos de, de explicarlo. Okay. Ajá, exacto. So you can try. Mm. Es más que todo práctica. You can just, it's a practice, all right? Mm. But ah, it's excellent. Right. And hello. I will no internet access. Te, porque creo que son como comentarios cortos, ¿verdad? Los que teníamos ah, que hacer. Cuatro, pero son como cuatro o cinco los que ten, tenemos que tener. Eh, eh, el ET. Electric. <laughs> Teacher, eh, desconexión eléctrica o desconectar de la electricidad. Uh, uh, eh, es como unplug. Eh, unplug. Así es como desconectar, es decir. Ah, okay. es unplug. Eh, um, I'm sorry for I'm sorry for interaction. Lo siento por la interrupción. Mr. Omar, ¿verdad que no ha pasado con los 10 minutos? Co yes, teacher. Pero no me recuerdo en, en... En sustitución de alguien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí no, es, cierto, es cierto. Ajá, es cierto. Ajá, es que como hoy le aparecía en el martes 4, entonces queda ese espacio. Fue la semana antepasada. Sí, fue el porque... primero. Ajá. Ajá. Que, bueno. Usted se tomó esa parte, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Ah, sí. pues sí, entonces. Yes. Ok, thank you, thank you. Continue, sorry, okay. continue. Brenda, this is it is un plug, un plug, connection. 
Eso, esa es la solución. Usted siempre conecte y luego conecta. En, en el video lo explicaba, ¿verdad? Que era des, desconect de... Eh, porque decía que le tenía que dar vuelta a la impresora. Yes. Eh, y... WCB. pegando a la eh, niña ahorita, Brenda. Me, pero y está quedando grabado, ese, ese es el inconveniente. Sí, quedó grabado. Sí. Eso es. Lo hicimos. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Only? Eh, the other is Uh, I would like a report that is a CPU is como sería sobrecalentar overheat The, C the CPU is CPU. a overheat. Overheat. Yeah. Okay. Saira, share your information. Please. Only question. Saira. Hola, hola. Comparta con nosotros. Share us. Eh, era, uh, I will like to report the post it does not print i would like to report the phone it does not ring hasta con rima me salió fíjese i see the <laughs> i would like to report all electric system uh, smartphone Because I don't listen the calls. Mm -hmm. I would like to check my smartphone because I don't listen the calls. Ah, porque no escucha, entonces no, o sea, no escucha, mi hermano. Uh -huh. Correcto. Okay. And The number what five. I would like clean my air uh, my air conditioning. Quiero reportar que le revisen el aire acondicionado, que le limpien el aire acondicionado. Uh -huh. Yes. Quiero que me limpien el aire acondicionado. Aire acondicionado. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. No es como que, no es como reparación, pero igual, o sea, siempre tienen que llegar a hacer eso. Ah, es como una reparación. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora usted, Rodrigo, le toca. Ok, eh, la primera mía, I would like to report that the cable broken a letter A. Letter A. La letra A, ¿qué le pasa? Eh, quiero reportar que el teclado tiene quebrada la letra A. Ay, yo pensé que se le trababa, algo así iba a decir. Se trababa, algo así. Yeah. Interesting. Bro. ¿Qué le pasa a veces? Okay. I would like to report that the monitor. Teacher, excuse me. Teacher, antes de que cerremos el programa, 
Hola, hola. Hola, hola, sí, hola. sí, perdón, perdón. Yes, I'm here. Este, eh, antes que cerremos el programa, <ríe> mire, este, eh, pudiera decir, este, I would like to report, no sé si se dice signal. Ajá. On my cell phone. Ok. Signal on my cell phone. Yeah. It's you bad. can say that. It's bad. Yes. The signal. It's bad. It's, it's low. Que es baja. La it's señal low. está baja. It's low. Es una no, señal. Y, y este, también este, yo, te, yo escribí una que dice este. Uh, I would like to my network is slow. It's slow. Eh, se puede. I would I like to like, report. I would like to report that my network, my network, is, my my network. Uh -huh. O sea, mi red, mi red uh -huh, is uh -huh. slow. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, you can say that. Yes. You can. You can. Bien. Eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia en este momento. Vamos a pasar la asistencia y sí, pues. Sure. Hello. Yes. Yeah? Sorry. Este, yo me salí sin querer justo cuando pasó la segunda asistencia. No sé si me lo puse. Sí, pero igual está acá, así que eh, está bien. Ah, okay, don't ah, worry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, uh, we're going to pass the attendance list. So you listen to your names and you say, okay, in this case, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Eh, David, uh, bueno, Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Cristian Ernesto. No está Cristian. David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Elías Zael Matut. Guillermo Antonio García. José. Ah, Guillermo tampoco está. José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Ok, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Marisol, eh, perdón. Ajá, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Mauricio Enrique García. Present teacher. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mayra Veraliz Moreno Present Omar eh, Francisco Hernández Present teacher eh, Zaira Marlene Larín Present eh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta eh, Present Jenny eh, Suleima Santos Bien, antes que nos Present. vayamos Bien, antes que nos vayamos rapidito bueno, este día pues no hay personas que vayan a pasar eh, para, la, para la formación, ya que algunos se habían adelantado. Eh, comentarles de que el, el día viernes vamos a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción, la que siempre se hace al final del módulo, y esa la vamos a hacer todos juntos el día viernes, para que nadie se, se adelante a hacerla, ya que hay ciertos pasos que tenemos que irles diciendo para que usted pues vaya... Eh, exactamente y no tenga ese problema de que lo llenó mal o alguna letra no le funcionó entonces es, eh, eh, el día de mañana les voy a explicar un poquito acerca de la encuesta de satisfacción ya ustedes que estuvieron conmigo pues hicimos esa encuesta en el módulo anterior entonces como que nos no va a ser bastante familiar el poder realizar nuevamente y siempre es importante tomar los pasos así que no se les olvide también realizar los ejercicios de cada semana verdad que eso es importante y nos veremos mañana. So, thank you so much, guys, for being here in the class. You did a great job today. So, have a beautiful night, everybody. Yeah, see you. You too. You too. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. 
Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio. Hello. Excuse me. Don't worry. Excuse me, don't... que se trabó el... Okay, don't worry, el teléfono. Excuse me. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, uh, okay, guys. Well, and this part of the video is is not a. There are not participants uh, for this day. Uh, there were some meetings that they did it before, and so that's why we don't have a, a student who is going to have a backup about the activities. But I would like to take a short time to talk a little bit about some expressions that we are using. And for this, we're going to go to this page right here. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, we have some expressions to say I would like to. It's a very formal a way to request something, especially in English, it's really important. Uh, people, they, they request something. Uh, for example, when they have some troubles in their jobs, some electronic devices, you know, get some troubles, so they would like to um, you know, to fix this problem because they need to work so they can stop working. And that's why it's, it's very important, you know, to have a, a something to be fixed. And I will show you right now here some expressions that was studied here in the class. So just uh, give me one moment. As we said in the class, as we said in the class uh, today, that we use, I would like to ask for something. When we need help in any situation, it's really important um, to make sure that we are using the appropriate words to ask for something. We have to be very polite in the way to say or request something. People say, I want this one, but this is not a way. So you have to use, I would like to, because it's a very formal way. And I would like to report this one. I would like to send the report today. He would like to meet the new employees tonight. They would like to speak to a supervisor and we would like to ship this container tomorrow. All those exercises were related to their jobs, to activities and duties of people most of the time doing their jobs. So it is like a, a very interesting expression in, the, in this part. Also, we could say that we can use wood and wood has a contraction in the grammar structure. So I will show you here. We have a singular and plural form. A wood is the same for singular and plural. For example, he would like to meet the new employees tonight. He like to ship this container tomorrow. So you can see here that he would like to meet the new employees tonight. And also the contraction or the contracted word is D, is the apostrophe plus D and they say, he'll like to meet. So you can see here how interesting is this structure because we're using it, we're using it in the real context. So that's why we have to work with this um, wood because it's a very, very formal way to request something in English. But uh, this is the point we are actually getting a, uh, a good part of this. And also we are like trying to focus about this structure. It's very interesting because we as English speakers, we are like uh, thinking about what changes we can make. And also we can ask for something in, in the job, especially with tech support, that they are like getting ready to see what happened with the machines and with the devices that are in the offices and people are like, most of the time working uh, 24 7 hours and sometimes the devices you know are forced to work extra hours so sometimes they don't work as natural and they need to be fixing that and our students know that they can work in this 
and they can you know immediately follow a protocol to request assistance of this department so that was actually very interesting to focus about it and i can tell you that um, i feel really glad because we know that in this part of the process we're using it así que este día pues hemos hablado un poquito acerca del uso del would like que es una estructura para solicitar algo de una manera muy formal, ¿verdad? Es muy formal, una expresión muy formal y que nos pide me gustaría, en la traducción en español, I would like to, me gustaría. Entonces nuestros estudiantes han aprendido a poder trabajar en esa estructura. Así que esto sería por este día y pues ha sido un placer.